Hey everybody, it's your friend Book Nook, and today we're diving into Influence the Psychology of Persuasion by Robert Cialdini. It's fascinating. We all know someone who could sell ice to an Eskimo, right? This book teaches you how they do that. It dives into the psychology of why we say yes, and uncovers these sneaky tactics we've all fallen for. So buckle up, because we're about to explore six fundamental principles of persuasion that will change how you see the world. Cialdini introduces the idea of weapons of influence, which are shortcuts in our brains, automatic responses to certain situations. Think of it like this. If you're being chased by a tiger, you just run, right? Our brains are wired for efficiency, but these mental shortcuts can be triggered even when there isn't a real tiger chasing us. People who understand these triggers can use them to influence us. Influence isn't always bad. It can persuade people to donate to charity or make healthier choices. This book helps us recognize these tactics to make more informed decisions. Let's talk about the first weapon of influence reciprocation. Humans are hardwired to feel obligated to return favors. Someone buys you a coffee, you feel obligated to buy them one next time, right? This principle isn't just limited to small favors. Cialdini gives the example of Hare Krishna's giving out flowers to get donations. Even though people didn't want the flowers, they felt obligated to give a donation. It's a simple but powerful tactic used everywhere from marketing to personal relationships. This chapter is about the human need for consistency. We like to think of ourselves as reliable. When we make a commitment, it creates internal pressure to act consistently. Think about it. Have you ever agreed to help a friend with a project even though you were super busy just because you'd already said you would? Salespeople use this principle by getting you to agree to a small request before hitting you with a bigger ask. Once you've made that initial commitment, you're more likely to stay consistent and say yes to the next one. Let's talk about social proof, the everybody's doing it principle. We are social creatures, heavily influenced by what others are doing. Think about it. How many times have you seen a long line outside a restaurant and thought, wow, that place must be good? We assume that if a lot of people are doing something, it must be the right thing to do. Advertisers use this all the time, showing people like you raving about their product. Seeing others endorse something makes us more likely to want it too. This chapter is about the power of liking. We are more likely to be persuaded by people we like. Cialdini breaks down the science behind it. Factors like physical attractiveness, similarity, and compliments influence how much we like someone. Salespeople are trained to be friendly, find common ground, and make you feel good about yourself. The more they can get you to like them, the more likely you are to buy what they're selling. It's strategic friendliness, and it works. From a young age, we're taught to respect authority figures, parents, teachers, doctors. This respect can make us vulnerable to influence. We defer to experts and people in power even when they might not deserve it. Symbols of authority like titles and uniforms trigger this automatic deference. Let's talk about scarcity. We place a higher value on things that are scarce or hard to come by. Think about it. Would you be more excited about a sale if there were only a few items left at a discount? Scarcity creates a sense of urgency. This principle is used everywhere, from marketing luxury goods to creating a buzz around limited edition sneakers. The more exclusive something seems, the more we tend to want it. Well, there you have it, a crash course in the psychology of persuasion. Understanding these principles isn't about becoming a master manipulator, it's about being more aware of the forces that shape our decisions. If you enjoyed this deep dive into persuasion, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell for more insightful book summaries from Book Nook. Stay curious.